Hello and welcome. In this lesson, we will look at some problems in which we will know that how the length of the line can be useful in order to solve a certain problems. Here we have a question in which we have to show that the four coordinates which are given here are the vertices of a parallelogram. We have drawn a diagram with the help of these coordinates just for our convenience so as to know that which sides are opposite to each other. As we know that in parallelogram the two sides are equal, two opposite sides are equal to each other. So here we will calculate the distances of the four sides and prove that, that these are the coordinates of the parallelogram. So here we uh, name the four coordinates as A, B, C and D. In order to prove that it is a parallelogram, AB should be equal to CD and BC should be equal to AD. Now we will calculate the length of each line. In order to prove that AB is equal to CD and AD is equal to BC, we have calculated the length of each line. First, we calculate the length of AB with the help of the formula, which is root x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Here, the coordinates are given as 1 comma minus 2 and 6 comma minus 1 of AB as shown in the diagram. So here we simply put these coordinates into the formula and so it becomes 6 minus 1 whole square plus minus 1 minus minus 2 whole square and after solving we will have 5 whole square plus minus 1 and minus I will multiply with the minus so it become plus and it become plus 2 whole square. So it become root 25 plus 1 and the answer is root 26. Similarly, with the help of the coordinates of C and D, we have calculated the length of C and D which comes out as root 26. So it is proved that AB is equals to CD. Now we will calculate the length of AD. Uh, which comes out as root 25 and also the length of BC comes out as root 25. We have just simply put the values in the formula and calculated and proved the statement that these four coordinates are the coordinates of parallelogram. Now look at another question in which three coordinates are given and we have to show that the triangle formed by these coordinates is isosceles. As we know that in isosceles triangle two sides are equal. So for our convenience we have drawn the diagram over here just to get the idea that which two sides will be equal. So we calculate the length of these two sides and name the coordinates as A, B and C. Now we will calculate the length of AB and BC and if they are equal, so it will prove that these are the coordinates of isosceles triangle. Here we have calculated the length of AB with the help of the formula through which we have calculated the length of the line. And here the coordinates of A are 2 comma minus 7 and B are minus 3 and minus 2. By simply putting these values into the formula, we have calculated the length of AB which comes out as root 50. Now again, we have calculated the length of BC by using the formula. The coordinate of BC are given as B is equals to minus 3 comma minus 2 and C are minus 2 comma minus 5. By simply putting these values into the formula, we have calculated the length of BC which is equals to root 50. Now the two lengths are equal so it is proved that this triangle is an isosceles triangle. Now look at another question in which we are given a circle with a center of 2 comma 0 and uh, we have to prove that the three points which are given here lie on the circle. So uh, we just draw a rough diagram over here not an exact diagram just to get an idea and uh, denote these points as A, B, C and O. 
the center point is denoted by O. Now, if these points lie on the circle, the distance of these points should be equal from the center. So, we calculate the distance of each point one by one with the center. So, first we have calculated the length or the distance of first point from the center which is O A with the help of the formula which is root x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. As the coordinate of A are minus 3 minus 12 and O are 2 comma 0. So, just simply putting the values in the formula we will get the answer root 169. Similarly, for OB, uh, we have calculated the distance of the point B from the center O and uh, the coordinates of O are 2, 0 and B are 14, comma, minus 5. By simply putting these values into the formula, we will get the answer root 169. Same we have done with the OC, the third point, and the answer is still root 169. So, the Distance of these three points from the center is equal. So this is proved that these three points lie on the circles.